Hi guys, it's Kai and welcome back to another Halloween tutorial. In my last video, I showed you how to do this glow-in-the-dark neon leopard makeup look. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a synthetic wig glow-in-the-dark, or at least under black light. For this, the main thing you need is a UV fabric dye, and we're basically going to soak the wig in this, diluted in a little bit of warm water. But before we can get to that, I'm taking my wig of choice and I'm just giving it a good detangling with some steam and a brush. I have a really detailed video all about this process. It doesn't need to be super bone straight, but the idea is that we don't want all these knots and tangles going into the washing process and the styling process. If your wig is brand new and straight out of the bag, it's probably already smooth so you can just skip past this part and jump straight into the dyeing step. I'm taking some warm water in a basin and filling only enough so that my wig can be submerged fully. No more than that. And then I'm going to dump all the UV fabric dye right into the mix. I bought about four of these things on eBay. They're really small vials, actually smaller than they look on the website by the way. <laughs> I'll link it in the description. But they're basically liquid dye and the stronger you want the color payoff to be, the less water you should dilute it in. Which is why I said only to use enough water to soak the wig and no more. And then I'm just going to let my wig soak in this mixture overnight. You'll see when I run it under black light, it is in fact glowing. I chose to do a pink UV dye on an already super neon pink wig, so you can't really tell the difference under normal light, but I wanted this look to be super colorful and neon under regular light and black light. Anyway, after you let that wig soak overnight and also dry fully, you're going to want to brush it out again and put it onto like a wig block or a mannequin head or like your dog's head, I don't know, something that will be hard and sturdy to anchor it down onto while you put it into a ponytail. Or I guess you can do whatever style you want here. But I wanted to do a high ponytail, so I'm sectioning off like the front few centimeters of hair and then I'm gonna create a ponytail with the rest of the wig. And the best way to go about this is to add a little bit of hair at a time into your hands. That way you can brush each strand into your hands and it'll all look smoother this way. Wrap that with an elastic band and then with a second elastic band, join that front hair into the ponytail, leaving a little bit untouched so that can be the final strand that hides the elastic band. Since I want this to be a little bit more dramatic, I teased a bunch of the hair near the base of the ponytail. Um, and afterwards, I kind of brushed the surface of that and then I took a strand in the ponytail and wrapped it around the base to cover the elastic band. I did the same thing again with that other strand that we left out. The reason for doing both is I find it just made the ponytail look a little higher when there's so much support at the base pushing it up. But then again, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> For some reason, under like some lights or camera setting, it just looked not as bright as the rest of me when I was in my makeup. I think it's because the UV makeup I used on my face was just so much stronger and brighter. So I painted a little bit of my hair actually with little stripes of UV face paint. But overall, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I hope you guys liked watching this and that you learned something cool. Uh, be sure to subscribe and like and comment and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!